determining Siamese bosons. Friction loss in parallel Siamese lines can be determined by dividing the flow of water, or GPM, equally between the hose lines, provided the hose lines are of the same diameter. Then we can calculate the friction loss rate for a single line. For example, if the flow through two, two and a half lines is 600 GPM, then the flow through each one would be 300 GPM. The friction loss can then be calculated based upon 300 GPM flowing through a single two and a half inch line. The firefighters are ordered to pull two 300 foot two and a half inch hose lines into the master stream appliance following an inch and a half smooth bore tip. In this problem, we need to solve for the friction loss rate for 300 feet of two and a half inch hose. Since there are two lines, both same diameter and length, we can divide the total GPM by two. When Siamese lines are going to be deployed, they are usually used to supply master streams. Remember, the nozzle pressure for a smooth bore tip on a master stream is 80 psi and 15 psi is added in for friction loss with a large appliance. To set this problem up, pump pressure equals nozzle pressure plus friction loss rate times length plus appliance loss. In order to determine the friction loss rate for the two and a half inch supply hose line, we must know the GPM for the inch and a half smooth bore tip. To determine this, we use the formula GPM equals 29.7 times diameter squared times the square root of the nozzle pressure. In this case, GPM equals 29.7 times 1.5 squared times 80, or 29.7 times 2.25 times 8.94 equals 597.4, or rounded simply to 600 GPM. For the two and a half inch hose lines, first we're going to determine the friction loss rate equals 2Q squared. Q, the GPM over 100, in this case Q equals 300 divided by 100, where Q is 3. We use 300 because it's half of 600, the total GPM for two lines going into the master stream. So FLR equals 2 times 3 squared, which equals 18 per length of 100 feet of hose. Now that we have solved for our friction loss rate for the supply lines, let's put this together. Pump pressure equals 80, the nozzle pressure for a master stream smooth bore, plus 18 times 3, the friction loss rate for the hose, plus 15 for appliance loss. Therefore, pump pressure equals 80, plus 54, plus 15 for a total of 149 psi.